Okay, y'all. <clears throat> now, I really don't want to make this channel crotchety old man grousing about women. <laughs> I don't think that would be um, uh, uh, in my interest, and I don't think it would be interesting to many people, uh, and uh, it would just not be uh, in order. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid that, but I also have some things to say that I want to say, um, that I'm going to try to say without, without, uh, without sounding like a crotchety old man complaining about women. All right. So here goes. Here's, here's my try. Here's my best effort. Um, I, I talked before about things that, uh, the ways in which many conservative women today, um, just uh, aren't as different from feminists as we, as one would, as one would expect or hope. Um, there is, there are differences. To be fair, um, you know, the conservative uh, woman uh, has a, a different perspective. You know, acknowledges, you know, that the that there are biological differences between the sexes. Uh, and, uh, you know, is against abortion and, and a lot of other things that, that, that are, that really do matter and that do count. So I don't want to come on here and just sound like, I think a lot of the, uh, uh, forgive me, but a lot of the MGTOW types, uh, sound when they, when they say, you know, conservative women are just as feminist as, as liberal women, you know, I mean, or, or, um, there, there are, there are differences that matter between the two of them. However, what I find distressing is that there, there, there are a lot of conservative women who seem to be as bitterly anti-male as, uh, as, um, you know, your, your, uh, your septum, uh, pierced, um, blue haired, green-haired, uh, drinking a mug, uh, with, uh, male tears, uh, on the, on the, on the front of the, of the mug, uh, kind of, a uh, kind of person, you know, um, th that is to say, they, uh, they, they're, they're more sympathetic to men on, in principle, but, uh, in, um, in, <laughs> in reality, in practice, they, they wind up just coming across like they are, they absolutely, uh, deplore and despise men. Now they say different things about men. Okay, it's not that they're all alike. I, I, okay, I, that's how I want to. I want to separate myself from the crotchety types, both old and young, and and in the middle, um, who who just just uh, go for that total. You know, they're all alike. There's not a dime's worth of difference between them. There is a difference that ma There are differences that matter, but uh, um, conservative women are often just as anti-male. Um, as their liberal feminist counterparts. Now, one, I, one of the things, one of the reasons why, uh, this, one of the things that they cite a lot, uh, and, and I've talked about this before, something that they seem to scapegoat a lot is, is pornography. Um, they say, you know, men are just addicted to porn. <laughs> Men, men these days are worthless because they're just addicted to porn, and and they don't they don't know how to how to how to uh, approach a, a real woman, and um, uh, uh, look, I'm not pro porn. Okay, I've talked about this uh, um, in a different video. I've talked about this whole um, what I what I call scapegoating of pornography, which. You know, I'm I'm down on pornography. I'm anti-pornography. So, when I say that, that they scapegoat pornography, I don't mean that in a way that that uh, 
I, I mean to be sympathetic to pornography. What I mean is that they uh, they use it as a as a cudgel to uh, to bash men with, um, and uh, very um, I don't I, just just in a very knee jerk manner, in a manner that just just doesn't seem to be well thought out. You know, <laughs> like like uh, when they were freaking out that. Uh, uh, a lot of men were going around saying such and such an actress, this this beautiful actress was really just mid, and they were saying this is this is just because of pornography. Pornography is having this effect on men where they where they would they would say something like that about a beautiful actress, um, you know, and if she's mid, if she's if they think she's mid, then what chance do I have? They don't say that part uh, out loud, but that's what they that's what they think. I think. Um, now another thing that uh, these uh, anti-male conservative women uh, tend to say, it's been my experience. Um, and when I say my experience, I, may, I mainly mean online. Um, uh, in in uh, social media forums when, uh, you know, I, I join a discussion and... Uh, you know, uh, get, get feedback from, from others. I, I, I frequently hear this line. Okay. They say, if women have gone bad, if, we, if, 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 if in the modern age, women are not, uh, 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 uh doing what they should, if they're not behaving well, uh, if they're not treating, uh, you know, marriage as a sacrament, um, you know, if they're instigating most divorces, blah, 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 so on, down the, all down the line. Um, well, that's really men's fault. <laughs> it's men's fault. You know why? Okay, can you guess why? It's because if men were truly being men, if men, men have abdicated their role as leaders, <laughs> men used to be the lead, used to be leaders and, and women, women followed them, you know, uh, you know, naturally when, the, because men are naturally created to lead and women are naturally created to follow the men who lead. But now that men have abdicated their leadership roles, now we have women being all, <laughs> being, you know, going nuts, uh, uh, becoming completely insufferable. But that's men's fault. It's it's because of men. Um, and if men would just man up and step up, and I don't know what they what they what they have in mind here, like, uh, like. I mean, I, I don't care how manly you are. I don't care how old school you are. Like, are you going to just, uh, what, what effect do you really have on the culture around you? Uh, if the culture around you is just, can just continues to be shitty. Um, you know, you're, you're one person swimming against the tide of shit. I mean, uh, what do they expect? I mean, what, what, what this what, what this boils down to is for them, when men uh, fail, it's men's fault. When women fail, it's also men's fault. <laughs> so, if that doesn't if that doesn't sound feminist, if if that doesn't sound like the kind of anti male uh, bilge that we commonly hear. From feminist types on the left, um, then I don't know. Uh, I don't know what does. Now, again, they say different kinds of things. You know, the feminist the feminists don't say men should lead. <laughs> they they have their own. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Like 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 
uh, they, they just 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 seem to be to think that they just seem to seem to hate men just just through and through and male feminists are they hate more than any <laughs> any other man <laughs> because secretly they they, uh, they they share the same predilections as as the conservative women who who uh, who li- li- like and respect the women the, or the men who who lead um okay fine fine what does what does this leadership look like ladies if any of you happen to be watching this what what do you think what do you think we can do against the culture of shit um <laughs> i mean what what is uh it, it's our is it our responsibility to uh I don't know. Do you, do you do you want us to do to to do illegal things? Do you want us to uh, try to foment uh, a revolution to restore the patriarchy? Um, is that what you want? Then then you'll respect men who do that. But until that happens, uh, men are to blame for uh, for women uh, women's poor behavior. Uh, so, um, so yeah, this, this is, this is like, this is something, this is something that I've seen be a pattern. And, and the annoying thing is that you also have some, some men, you know, some, uh, I, I don't know what they would call themselves. Like, uh, uh, like, like uh, some guy, some guys, uh, you know, who, who claim, who would claim to be traditionalists, uh, basically saying the same thing, and and it's it's kind of like, it's pretty much just like simping. Um, it's saying you know, I'm uh, like I, I've I've there I'm not going to identify him, but it was some guy, some tiresome, uh, you know, right wing, uh, macho influ, you know, uh, uh. Trad con influencer saying, I'm tired of men complaining about women's women's behavior. If women misbehave, it's men's fault because we're the ones who need to lead. And 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 all the women, <laughs> amen, amen to that. Um, it's never our fault, it's always men's fault. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I'm like, like, so these, these women were on this, like, in in this conversation, we're even saying things like women should have never gotten the vote. Well, you know, I personally don't think anyone should get the vote. I'm not a believer in voting. I'm not, a, I'm not a Democrat with a little D <laughs> or with a big D, certainly not with a big D, but not with a little D either. So I don't, I don't believe women should vote. I also don't, I also believe that men should vote, but that's a different story. Um, yeah, things would things would be better if uh, women uh, if women didn't vote. I mean, they'd, I think that's that's uh, undeniable. Um, we wouldn't we wouldn't get so many uh, so many crap politicians in in, in power. Uh, well, I mean, we'd probably get some crap ones, but not as many uh, of you know degenerate lefty uh, liberal types um okay so so what are we we're, we're supposed to push for what is it is it the 19th amendment that uh that, that, that gives the franchise of voting to to women i mean this this law that's been in place for a century we're so, are, are 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 these these women expecting men to uh to start <laughs> to to to, <laughs> to start this this popular movement to remove uh the franchise of voting from women is that is that what they're expecting do they understand <laughs> do they understand like <laughs> Like you're, you're, you know, you, you ask a young man to do something like that, to, to, to go 
out on a limb and, and say, uh, take the votes away from women. You realize how, what's going to happen to that young man if he, if he goes forward with that, uh, you know, and, and really pushes for, for, uh, uh, for taking the votes away from women. You realize he'll get crushed. Do you realize that? Do you care? Do you, uh, well, men should, they should be able to find a way. If they were real men, they would find a way. Real men find a way. <laughs> That's what they, these are the kind of things that they say. Oh my God. Ah, see, I'm, I'm sounding crotchety now. But, uh, I tried not to. I did my best. I just, if I had hair, I'd be pulling it out right now. Uh, with, you know, and I, I'm, I'm just thinking that there's not really any reason to join these conversations anymore. Um, it's just, uh, I don't, I just don't think it's worthwhile. Um, anyway, what do y'all think? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.